Hi guys, day one in Buenos Aires, I am buzzing out my bits. It's been so class. We haven't gone to sleep, but it's been more than 24 hours and we're still on the go. Um, but we're going to the Hurricane game tonight, Hurricane versus Banfield. We're going to meet up with our home fan vocal host Sophie. Um, today's been great. It's been very long, uh, but we've met so many friendly people. So top tip. Uh, coming to Argentina, wish we'd learned a little bit more Spanish. Um, you don't want to be rude, you don't want to be ignorant, and also you need to get yourself around the city centre. So I can speak a little bit. Um, Sean has the one or two phrases, but we, the two of us kind of were walking about today going, wish we'd maybe looked up a little bit more because they don't speak English, and a lot of people would argue that my English isn't English, it's Scottish and it's hard to understand um, for a lot of folk. Um, they're super helpful in any way they can be, so we were at a restaurant earlier and she pulled out the menu, they actually had um, a lot of the food that they make and desserts and sandwiches all sort of laid out with signs on them, which was really, really helpful. They don't need to do that, they're super, super friendly, um, but top tip would be to learn a couple of phrases. A couple of phrases sorry in Spanish which can help you get around the place um, and just help you connect with the locals because that's really what traveling's all about. Other thing is pesos. I found them before I even came here very difficult to get hold of. I managed to get them before we came here. Um, I went to Marks and Spencers at the Bureau de Change but they did have to book them in um, so if you're coming here if you're getting pesos book well in advance. Happy with that, we're chuffed, we're good to go and we're just so buzzing. Uh, literally Three minutes we were off the plane, got a taxi, Alejandro picked us up, home fans had that all organised for us, absolute class act. Had a little sign that said Lindy and Sean and it was like, yes, dreams do come true, it was so class. Um, he was super nice even though he really had very, very limited English but he was used Google Translate to speak to us, so nice. Doesn't have to do that and he did it anyway. Um, but yeah, we, we joined the motorway from the airport and there was three Lionel Messi signs, like adverts dot along and I was like the queen when she saw cows. Um, I was like, Messi! Um, and it was just the best and I was like, mate, I, we couldn't quite believe that we're in South America. I still don't think it's really hit us that we're actually in South America. I think we kind of think we're still in some like Italian or Spanish city and it's really going to hit us when we get to this hurricane and play that we are actually in South America and these crowds are going to be absolutely tonto and I'm so here for it. So I've had my empanada, I've seen all my messy stuff and I'm sure I'm going to see lots more and I'll share it with you guys. Uh, it's just going to be the best and I'm going to film as much as I can but also I want to enjoy the experience so I'll film little bits and bobs and then I'm going to put the phone away and I'm just going to enjoy it for, for what it is because this could never happen again. Um, so I'm just going to enjoy Argentina for everything that is. Thanks for tuning in and like and subscribe below if you want to see more content. Cheers guys.
Um, not long home after the Urukan game and um, haven't slept definitely over 30 hours. It's quite probably possibly close to 48. Um, but I'm going to struggle to sleep. I'm literally on a pure high. It was so good. Uh, the atmosphere was class. Sophia, the home fan, local, who, home fans local who we met was fantastic. All the boys were amazing. Uh, you had an Ajax fan, uh, Jesse, and um, Tim, who's a Liverpool supporter, but he's been to Argentina three times now and he was just telling us all the stadiums that he's been to. Um, and then we met fellow Celtic fan, Stephen, who I spent the night calling Scott because I thought that was his name for some stupid reason, but um, they were all great sports, they were a great laugh, and Sophia introduced us, introduced us to our mates, who are all crazy Urican fans, and that was just so good. I can't honestly stress enough, and you'll see for the video, the highlight for me, I mean, as much as the game was amazing and the atmosphere was amazing, but those kids playing football at the side of the pitch, like something like that should be at hand and it was just it was so joyous like to just watch them bring their own ball just firing all over the place it was so good man there's just kids joining from everywhere just kicking the ball about young boys young girls just having a ball um while this absolutely never i've never seen an atmosphere like that um it was amazing um and i would 100% recommend to everybody to, to go. It was so good. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to sign off. Um, I'm going to sign off after day one of activities. I'm going to somehow try and sleep. Um, we'll see if that happens, but I. Argentina, man. Day one, I feel like I've been here for four days. There's just been so much airports and whatever else um, and squeezing in again so tomorrow day two day dos is uh, independiente day and it's going to be so good um, but I god knows how I'm going to sleep tonight but I'm going to try my little best guys thanks for tuning in to this um, as always if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe bye